Dribble Girl here. Today I'm just going to be showing you what, what is in my Dribble Drawers. First off, I have this Critter Care Natural Pet Bedding. This is just from Walmart. It's like Walmart's brand of Care Fresh. There is a video that this is in. It's called Aspen and Care Fresh versus Other Beddings. So that's kind of like a review on that. Next, I have this Critter Bath Powder. I got this at PetSmart. Um, I personally like sand baths better because for me, I just think it must be really easy for a gerbil or a hamster to, to inhale the bath powder. And sand, it's a little bit harder, but still possible. In this bottle, I have my vinegar and water solution for cage cleaning. This is Wipeout 1. It's just for cleaning small animal cages and terrariums. I will have a video review on this also. Next, I have these. These go under pots for when you water them so that the water doesn't leak out everywhere. I put Larry's sand bath in here. Next, I have this Eco Pet Bedding. Um, it's much like the KT Crinkles. I got this at the Herbie Derby that Larry was entered in. Next, I have some felt and some fleece. This I just put in Larry's nest. Next, I have this wash rag. I just use this for cleaning Larry's cage and then it gets thrown in the washer after that. This one is pretty self-explanatory, just for scooping out the used bedding out of his cage. Then, next, I don't use this anymore because I know it's not safe. But I have this nesting fluff Larry also one of the Herbie Dirty. And next I have this Critter Keeper. This is just for when I clean his cage. And then I have this durable care guide that I got at PetSmart when I got Larry. And lastly I have his Habitrail Herbie Derby ribbon. Then in the next drawer, this next drawer is mostly food and treats. Um, first of all, I have what I call gerbil uh, trail mix. It's just a mixture of oats and his crushed up um, daily diet. I use that for making his treats. There will also be a video on making that. Then I also have his treat box. It's just a mixture of a bunch of different treats. Sorry, I keep looking over there. My cat's sitting over there. Then next I have his um, his daily diet. This is a mixture of a bunch of different foods. So there will also be more videos about that. Then I have his KT 40 Diet Pro Health Pellet. Then I have his Avatron. Um, these are just the crushed pellets. And this is oatmeal. Then I have some 100% whole grain rolled oats. And then I have some Sprout Dog Biscuits. These are veggie flavored. Then I have some chicken flavored. Bacon and beef. And these are Larry's favorite. These are peanut butter. I have some Cheerios and some Ritz crackers. Then I have a homemade ceramic um, food bowl. It says Larry on it. Then I have two measuring scoops. I have the rest of my measuring spoons upstairs. They're getting washed right now. This is an extra food bowl that came with the Double Decker Habitat. By um, The Double De Decker Habitat is by Super Pet. This is KT Kiwi Flavored Yogurt Cups. Then I have some Skippy Reduced Fat, Extra Crunchy Peanut Butter. Then I have some Thrifty Bee Honey, used for making treats, homemade treats. These are homemade treats and some KT um, yogurt cups. And then there are some um, Wild Harvest Honey Chew Treats. And an extra water bottle. And lastly in the store I have an extra Critter Trail water bottle. Then next is his toy and chew drawer. This is just a little wooden house 
folds up for storage. Um, his wear flying saucer. His extra critter trail wheel. And his silent spinner. He has his comfort wheel in there right now, if you're wondering. Then I have these two ceramic houses. One is a pig, and one is um just this little house. This is actually a candle holder, and this is actually for like a wash rag or a scrubby for washing dishes. And then next I have his box of chews. First off, I have this these alphabet block chews from Petco. These farmers market um willow pretzel sticks. Some large nibble and sticks, all natural, or two treats. Oh, and those are by Natural Elements. The this assorted bag of cheese from the Herbie Derby. These Wild Harvest fruit flavored wood chews. Cheesy chews from Wild Harvest. Super Pet Combo chews. Those are the apple slices. And then Super Pet Fun Chew Sports. And then half a, a Farmer's Market Barbell. Two used um, of the alphabet blocks. One of the sports blocks. Two of the fruit flavored chews. And then this is a All Living Things Twig Chew. And then I have an edible logs. He has one in there right now that he almost completely destroyed, so I have a new one on hand for when that one's done when he can't use it anymore. And then next I have a bin of paper towel rolls. This one's just cut up paper towel roll. Um, toilet paper tubes. I have a bunch in here, as you can see. And then I have some extra critter trail tubes, bubble caps, and connector. And this is for the double decker habitat. Yep, and that's all that's in there. And then I have this little wooden picket fence bench that I use for taking pictures of. It has it's spray painted white, so that's obviously why it can't go in his cage. Because if he were to chew on that, that wouldn't be very healthy for him. So. Next, I have some stuff over here. I have some Hearts Timothy Hay. Under here, I have some Aspen wood shavings. Under here, I have some Carefresh confetti pet bedding. And then here, I have an open bag of Carefresh. I have Larry's two hamster balls up here. And in here, those are all homemade toys and furniture. Oh. This, fell. this is a homemade foraging log. There will also be a video on that. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. More videos to come. Bye.